In a world of boring chi-fi IMs, I think the D DM8, the BGVP DM8, is quite a breath of fresh air in its tuning and its um, construction. I guess. First of all, v these are made of wood. I don't know. Like, I love how technology can make things possible like bending wood to be shaped of an IM like this. It's like playing a game of extreme bonsai or something. I, this this is very interesting first of all. I've never tried one uh, wood and IM before. I know it exists before but it, I haven't tried one. It's, pr it's pretty interesting. The, um, Usually, chai files would just go to the uh, the like the the audio would just copy and paste their their resin. Uh, Moondrop try tend to be a bit more creative with their use of metals and um, forms of resins. Um, however, I think BGVP just does quite an interesting job here, and it's fairly good looking too, I guess. Um, yeah, it's beautiful, but the TLD of the sound is, like how they're built, the sound is pretty unique also. It's not the classic, usual chi-fi trying to be more V-shaped, or chi-fi trying to be more, I don't know, boost the treble and be more open sounding type of signature. It's quite a unique one, it, it kind of reminds me of the um, the Shores, the Shore SE215 in some way, but it kind of also reminds me of the final E3K. And knowing that it kind of reminds me of the final E3K, I actually don't like the sound coming from here, but it is a respectable type of sound that I cannot Usually, usually, if I don't like an IM, I would just sh fucking shit on them and tell them like it's the worst, absolute brainless, retarded shit that I've ever listened to. But it's not with the DM8s. They might sound a bit warmer, a bit darker, but they still maintain a respectable level of clarity and technical prowess that I can respect it as a uh, different sound signature that is still acceptable I guess so yeah it's 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 a different sound but it's not that type of weirdly incorrect type of sound it's still a very pleasurable warmer sound which might sometimes be a bit more lackluster in its treble presentation but we'll get to that later so that's the TLDR so if you know, if you like something like the Blessing 2s or the TLDO L4s, these are not that type of sound. I think these are a bit off. But if you like something like the E3K, you might be more inclined to upgrade to the DM8 if you've listened to them. As a TLDR. The build quality here is, although I, I do appreciate the ingenuity of using wood, I don't think it's built very optimally. For starters, I do not like how the MMCX connector is um, used in the uh, BGV PDM8. It's not like I don't like MMCX connector. I, I really love MMCX connector. I, I think I personally think they are superior to the two pin version because I can twist MMCX connector. Although yeah, sometimes they become they are easier to be dodgy. But you don't snap MMCX like you snap a two pin connector. If you snap a two pin connector inside IM, bye bye your IMs. If you broke your MMCX cable, yeah, you broke the MMCX cable, but it's only a cable, you can just change it. With the BGVP DM8, it has the type of soft connector 
like soft connector qualities like if you've tried the uh short tapes and you know the type of soft connect mmcx connector you you'd know and it's not very pleasant it doesn't have that click thing just goes like that um the the rest of the im itself it's not it's actually pretty pleasant yeah, I think I think the construction is it's it's acceptable for the price. The cable is weighty. It's 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 it it's like a whip. It's like a fucking whip. The cable is like a fucking whip. It's very heavy, but BGVP usually always comes with a very heavy cable, the, like the DM6. But it does terminate to a 2.5 millimeter, which they are gladly to give you the adapter for 4.4 and this is the box. Oh yeah, by the way, this unit is um, handed to me by Audio and Store. Thank you so much, Audio and Store, for lending this unit to me. And uh, this, I will link the Audio and Store, uh, to store, I guess, down below of Facebook page. The box here is actually pretty good. It, it's like the kind of like the TL, the TFA Audio L4 type of uh, presentation. The box. You have a lot of spare ear tips. You got nine pairs, ten pairs spare, including one that is stuck on the IM. There are three, four different kinds of uh, ear tips. You have the comply, like the foam tips, the uh, vocal tips, the balance tips, and the bass tips. I think uh, for my in my testing, the balance tip is the best. It actually gives a bit more bass impact, and it also have a little bit more boost in the treble region, which I like. The case is also very good. Here is the 3.5 connector. So yeah, a very um, good presentation in the box. I don't. I think the uh, the box itself kind of looks like what I can find in a arts and crafts store instead of I am store but they do their job well I guess now let's get to the sound the sound here first we go to the bass the bass here is present it's a warm type of sound it it if you know what type of bass that the EVK have it's like general from the the, the mid-range lower mid-range and upper bass and <laughs> just gradually goes there it doesn't have that type of base shelf that uh, something something like the uh, IRZ1R or something like the uh, maybe the L4 has that a, a bit of base shelf or the Monarch or something these don't have that it just gradually grows into the um, low lower frequencies right there but I, I do when I when if I haven't looked at a correct graph for these there are lots of graphs in the internet about the dm 8 but look just looking at the graphs you would notice like there is, there will be a significant base bloat and bleed while I do have a little bit problem with the bleeding it doesn't really bloat that much because it, then again it's a balance amateur type of ba a base so it usually doesn't really bloat that much but so so these don't actually bloat that much but it kind of ble bleeds in the mid-range a little bit and for um, bass heavy uh, type of jazz music usually when they use a lot of um, acoustic bass guitars or something you might actually the sound might actually the bass might actually bother the mid-range so yeah you, you might watch out for that um, the the punch in the bass, the technique, it's 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 um, respectably punchy bass for a balance armature. Though it's definitely not the punchiest, it's not the best implementation of uh, BA drivers for bass. But I guess it's okay. I think the the more the punch it has here, it's more because of the elevation rather than the quality of the of the implementation. I I'm pretty sure that's that. But it's quite textured it's quite um, present and yeah the mid-range here is actually very pleasant 
The mid range here is actually um, quite a pleasant one. It's not. There's nothing much wrong with the mid range. You have that thick, like thick, lush, warm vocals. Um, the lower mid range has a little bit more emphasis. Also, with the upper mid range, has a proper amount of pina gain. It sounds just sounds overall pleasant in my opinion. Yeah, the treble here is the the most problematic part. Actually, the bass is also a bit problematic, but it's, it's not very, very much, I guess. If you like that type of um, bass, uh, warmer type of presentation, I think you might like these. The treble, however, I, I do feel that there is a lack, quite, quite noticeable dipping in the treble that I don't really like. It's somewhat like the type of Lu Dunu Luna type of dipping, but these don't have that em emphasized uh, upper mid-range and lower treble frequencies that the Luna has, so it's not very um, jarring. But it it is there, I guess, the type of dipping that makes some fundamental tones of cymbal strikes m might sound a bit muted. Or like, actually harmonics of a lot of instruments sounds kind of blunt, I guess, here in this presentation. So yeah, if you're really um, sensitive to that type of problems, I guess, problems, I don't think the DM8 is a good go for you. However, the, the treble region is, although it's not very forward, but it is uh, well articulated. If you, if, you, if you pay attention to the sound, it's actually quite well articulated. It's not a type of low res type of... Uh, treble so yeah um in tonal balance this is definitely color type of i am it's not uh, very it's not neutral in any way shape or form um it's not accurate it's not reference but if you're looking for that type of warmth in the sound if you have the final e3k and you love the final e3k I think this is a very logical and obvious step up to the E3K in it because they have a very similar presentation though it doesn't really have that a uh, lot of bloat in the uh, in the bass unlike the E3Ks. So yeah. About uh, the timbre presentation some some actually this is one of the positives of the BGV PDM8 because when I listened, when I ABVs with V3, the Blessing 2s, the um, L4 and the DM6, I think the DM8 has the most non BA timbre out of the three. It sounds more, more organic in its presentation, it doesn't have that a lot of smearing and grainy type of presentation, unlike the the three I have right there. So if BA Tamba is quite the pro, I, I would just recommend buying a DD if you have problems with the BA Tamba. But this is a very well implemented for, I guess, if you are uh, concerning about the BA Tamba. So yeah, I guess that's that. Um, the resolution here is good. Not the best, but good. It's about equal as the Blessing 2s and the L4s. Though those are not really the best when I'm asking for resolution, I guess. But they're actually they're pretty good. The um, definition might take a little bit of hit due to that lack of treble and that dipping in the treble energy. I, th I think I, some on some instruments it might sound a bit more blunt than what you would prefer them to be. Their separation really takes quite a hit when you go to a busier track. Like for example, when I... Um, what the hell is my dad? Um, I think... Uh, let me take a look. What, what type of track did I use before? Oh, when you go to metal music, like the, for example, this, Everyone Loves You 
once you leave them the song all my friends are dead when when music gets very busy like this track or something like the um, what's that uh, nine inch nails downward spiral the I think it's called the March of the pigs yeah when you listen to those type of music you will notice the congested type of sound in the uh, DM8 while it's not as apparent maybe in these two the DM6 just garbage if you compare it to the DM8 the DM8 is much better than the DM6 in any way shape or form maybe in treble forwardness the DM8 the, the DM6 is pretty forward in its treble but the forwardness of the treble in the DM6 is also coupled with their graininess and unpleasantness I guess in general and yeah I, I would mostly compare it with these two, I guess. So yeah, it, it's it kind of sounds a bit congested there. The separation in busier tracks doesn't sound as good as I would hope them to be. The sound stage and imaging is is quite good. It's not as good as the Blessing Twos, but it's quite respectable for for the price it is. I wouldn't expect a lot more, I guess, especially from um, I guess BGVP that hasn't been coming out with a lot of good stuff recently maybe the dm7 is quite good but it's not my standards on my standards are usually high for companies like moondrop and fear audio but not so much with ggvp i don't know man it's just me being discriminatory <laughs> discriminatory the resolution here is okay it's very, it's it's respectable it's unlike the absolute garbage uh, resolution of like something let's see audio you may but I, I think it's not fair to compare these with those because those are noticeably cheaper though their resolution with that price is also pretty garbage but resolution here is actually pretty respectable if you can look past through that uh, a little bit of reset and dipping in the, in the treble region so yeah I guess that's a lot that's all for the, the, the DM8 explanation like exposition I guess against the blessing twos I think if you if you've heard the blessing twos blessing twos and you've tried something like the harmonish target and if you think those are a bit too um, I don't know a bit too sharp in the treble a bit too intense maybe you want something a bit more laid back maybe the DM8 is a good choice for you rather than, uh, than the blessing twos it doesn't have that technical prowess that the blessing two has that I am actually very amazed at it doesn't have the, the excellent tonal balance of the blessing twos but if you're looking for a more thicker type of vocals, especially the Blessing 2 is not very good at presenting male vocals. These, however, very good. Very thick, very luscious, very warm, very comfortable type of sound. It's not the most exciting because of the um, lack of upper of treble frequencies. It doesn't have the most technical bass, doesn't have the most technical mid-range or the te most technical treble. That's not a very technical type of IM, but, it's, uh, but it has enough technicalities to support its price I guess I would prefer them to be a bit more cheaper but yeah they're okay I guess against the L4 it's just like blessing 2 is a bit more treble and a bit more bass a bit more v-shaped blessing 2s I guess uh, it's not so yeah if you have problem with the intensity of these two you might gravitate more towards the DM8 if you think you would prefer a bit more neutral type of presentation a bit more clarity a bit more type of open sounding I am so maybe you would gravitate towards uh, the, the two here rather than the DM8s though personally I would still pick these two over the DM8s so yeah again the M6 the M6 is absolute garbage compared to the DM8s it's not even relevant anymore buy the DM8s instead please just leave it to die thank you however Resolution wise, no, it's still better than the DM8, so yeah, I don't know. The, 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 the um, final E3K, I'm, I'm, I'm putting the final E3K here just because it's, it is, if you have one, you like one, you listen to one, I don't really like the E3K, I prefer the E2K because it has more, a bit more triple energy. If you like one and you want something better, although probably not the sound stage because these are open max and these are not maybe get these 
maybe upgrade to these. It's, I think it's quite a worth upgrade. When I'm abing these two, the E3K just sounds low res and congested and muffled. I guess muffled and unpleasant in comparison with the DM8. So I think it's a worthwhile upgrade. I guess that's it for the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to watch Jason's video. See you next time. Godspeed.